I'm a councilman in the town of Portland, and that's where Indian Point sits. We've got a five-member Democratic board, and I'm the only Democrat who's advocated for its closing. I filed a brief to have a seat at the table for the discussions on it, because I've been to every Indian Point meeting and every part of the discussion. I'm very familiar with this. The decision will come down to the NRC. The reason it's so topical now is that Indian Point is up for relicensing. But it's not a three-year license or a five-year license, it's 20 years. That's a generation. And to get relicensed, it has to be completely rebuilt. It's either going to need what is called wedge wire, which is sucking in water from the Hudson River, superheating it as they cool the plant and throwing it back into the Hudson, which has got river keepers screaming mad. Or they have to put in these huge, super large Yankee Stadium-sized cooling towers, two of them. One that will suck air into cooling and one that will throw it back in the atmosphere. Neither of those are adequate solutions. So since the plant needs a change and needs relicensing, this is the time to commission it. And also, as you read reports, I'm a doctor, and I hear about radium in the ground, strontium, tritium, and they tell us it's below safe levels. Garbage. There are no safe levels. And there's never been a study out that's published that says this level is safe and this level isn't. And it's not just a single exposure, it's repeated exposure. And it doesn't just stay on the plant, it seeps into the water, it seeps into the air, it's everywhere. And finally, there's no way out. If there's a problem, whether it's man-made or God-forsaken issue, there is no way to evacuate. That plant would never be built today, it shouldn't stay in existence. I don't care how much money it makes anyone, even the communities. I am concerned about the jobs, but we can retrain people and create other jobs. Health, safety, and welfare. <coughs> it's time to make a change. It's time not to be